Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Demetra's Dishes. Today I'm going to teach you how to make my delicious fall cabbage salad. I had this salad in Greece this past summer and it was my favorite salad that I've had. It's delicious, it's crisp, it's a little bit sweet, a tiny bit uh, peppery and spicy from the pepperoncini. Let's go over the ingredients so we can start making this. The dressing is going to have some balsamic vinegar, a little bit of honey, and really good quality Greek extra virgin olive oil. We're going to need some pepperoncini peppers, a little bit of dill, a little bit of oregano, some romaine lettuce, fresh parsley, some salt, two or three carrots. Then I have regular cabbage here and purple cabbage for contrasting colors. I have some baby bell peppers, but you can use a whole bell pepper if you'd like. And I have a little bit of onion. This is about a quarter of an onion. So this is half a cabbage because I've been making this salad all week long. This is what I have left for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and finally slice this. And I like to do this by first cutting the cabbage in half so it can have a nice flat surface to lay on and then chopping and slicing all around. Next, I'm just gonna slice my bell peppers. You just want little bite-sized thin slices. Go ahead and add the sliced bell peppers to the salad. Next, we're gonna go ahead and finely chop this onion. And all you need is a little bit. And add the onion to the salad as well. What I love about this particular cabbage salad is that it is mixed with some lettuce, so it makes it nice and light, and you get all different types of textures in each bite. So I'm gonna go ahead and roughly chop this romaine lettuce that I've already washed and dried. Now you can use baby lettuces if you'd like. Just chop them up and put them in the salad. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and grate these two carrots using the box grater. Carrot and cabbage is just a fabulous combination that's very commonly used. Go ahead and add the grated carrot into your salad. Now you can do this using just white cabbage, but the purple cabbage adds a lot of different contrast and color and it just makes it look pretty. So if you can find it, go ahead and add it. Otherwise, it's okay if you leave it out. Now last, I'm gonna chop up this parsley, just the leaves. Add the parsley in. Now it's time to make the dressing. Now I love that when I tasted this dressing while I was in Greece, it was mildly sweet. So I am making it using a little bit of balsamic vinegar, some extra virgin Greek olive oil, a little pinch of salt, and about a tablespoon or so of honey. If you can find Greek honey, that's the best kind of honey to use. Just whisk this all together and then just go ahead and pour it all over your salad. And you're gonna to wanna to use your hands to mix it all together. Now I like to use my hands to do this because I can make sure that everything is dispersed evenly. And then if I find any, any vegetables that are just kind of stuck together, I just like to separate them using my hands and I think that's the best way to do it. But you can also use salad tongs if you feel better about that. And then go ahead and put some dried oregano on top. If you have fresh dill, you can go ahead and put fresh dill, but I always have dried dill on hand, so I'm gonna sprinkle some dried dill on top of that. Put the pepperoncini on top of the salad. I love these because they're mildly spicy and they have a nice pickle flavor and they're a little bit sweet. They're just perfect. And just like that, the salad is ready. This salad is ready in no time. It's perfect for your fall table. You can go ahead and finally chop some green Granny Smith apples or whatever your favorite apple is, go ahead and put it in there. Add your favorite dry fruit to this, apricot, figs, raisins, they're all delicious and they're gonna add even more texture and flavor to the salad. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. So healthy, so crisp and crunchy and refreshing. I love the sweetness of the balsamic vinegar dressing. I cannot wait to bite into that pepperoncini. That pepperoncini, which is a pickled pepper, is so delicious. You guys are gonna love this salad. Save this recipe for your holiday table. It's a great one to serve around Thanksgiving and Christmas and just throughout this whole season. Go ahead and print the recipe at demetrasdishes.com. Let me know what else you wanna learn in the comment section down below and I will see you all next time. Yes,